Hey Michael, you asked about this technique used to deploy an Angular app with GitHub pages. It's the technique for this um, link here, which is this article here. And I wrote down my commands the other day when I was working on it in this repo. And what happens when we're done is if you go to settings, uh, you'll see that you have GitHub pages element. And if you visit there, then your super simple, in my case, Angular app that I spent about a half an hour the other day doing will show up. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing with a super simple Angular app in a way that hopefully will be useful in workshops coming up with Code Black with David or something like that. So I've CD'd into the repo that I made with ng new up. And now I'm going to initialize that repo. I'm going to add all the files. And then I'm fond of using the Angular CLI command for the message in the thing. So uh, everything's great. Looks like it already created the repo, so I didn't need to go through all of that. A little bit embarrassing. So let's make a brand new repo um, called up and um, no readme or anything like that. And I'm going to switch the branch to main. I'm going to add the remote and then I'm going to push and Git will helpfully remind me that I need to elaborate the very first time that I push. And then once that's done, I'm going to work on this next bit. So I'm going to make a GitHub Pages branch, which is special, and that's where they deploy their code from. I'm going to push it upstream. I'm going to install the helper to deploy GitHub pages from the Angular CLI. And then I'm going to build. And the name of this repo is up. And don't forget the trailing slash at the end. I think that's a gotcha. And then once that's done, even if your repo has uppercase in it, like you see in this example that I'm highlighting, you want to lowercase it when you're doing the NGH. So it's going to upload it to GitHub Pages and it says it successfully published it. We can check the result code. We're on the GitHub Pages branch. So I'm going to check out main. Now I'm going to let that cook for just a minute or so while I make a little functionality. I'm going to generate a new component called um, up button. Okay, let's call it up counter panel. All right, nice long winded name, very corporate. And I'm going to add that in and use the git command, you know, pardon me, the N Angular CLI command as the commit message to remember it. And then I'm going to go over to my editor. There's a lot of sort of boilerplate HTML that gets added in, so I'm going to delete those lines and I'm just going to add in the app up counter panel and then when I go to run this which I'll do now I'm going to split my terminal for ease of use and here I'm just going to say ng serve and it should start listening on 42 in a minute and while it does that I'm going to multitask over here and try to come in and remember some angular do a button with an ID like that and uh, I want to add a little on click or click is going to execute the uh, count up by one function and I'm going to take the quick fix to create the count up and in the count up I'm just going to say Hey, look, I've got a field um, in 
here that starts off at zero and it's a field in the entire class. So down here I can say um, this counter and I'm going to add whatever the number that was passed into it and that's just going to be great. Now I also want to display the number so I'm going to do that and boink. So let's see if that actually works. No, it's complaining. It says, hey, there's an error on line five. Um, and it says counter is not a thing. So I probably just spelled it wrong. And there it is, there it is. And that's probably not going to fix it. So I'm going to try it one more time. And if memory serves, it's not going to be um, this dot. It's just going to be counter. So let me try this one more time. It's private. That's probably the problem. So let me get rid of that. And sure enough, now it works. And if we go over here to localhost 4200, there it is. And I can count up. If I change the uh, HTML here to count up by uh, 31, it will recompile and now it's counting up by 31. If I go over here to up and check on our GitHub pages that was cooking, by now it's deployed, it'll typically take a couple of minutes and I'm having a terrible problem that I don't understand why I was not having it the other day. Apparently when these resources it didn't recognize the base and so if I go over here to network and reload now it works. So go figure I just didn't wait long enough. So the point is it does take a minute so now we can practice. We've done the one time setup and you see that it works. Now we're going to do the reset up. So for the reset up I need to do the build. So let me try this again. It's uh, ng build base href base href. And I'm going to copy and paste it because I'm not a maniac. And the thing that I remember about this is the trailing slash is pretty important. I think I went to a Matt Rabel talk where he pointed that out just the other day. Now notice I'm still on the main branch and I'm going to do the uh, uploading via get and I'm still on the main branch and now I'm also still on the main branch. Unix result code indicates that it's great and when I go over here it is going to take a minute before it works. So I challenge anyone to add a down button next to the up button. So we have the up button here. Let's add a down button to it. Let's add a text field where we can put in the amount instead of hard coding the amount as a parameter in the HTML. We can grab it off of a text field. I'm going to do the empty cache and hard reload, which sometimes is more thorough. And notice it's spinning a little bit. And now, finally, it works. I'm sorry this video is so long. And I'd really like you to uh, comment if you like it. And thank you. Bye.